please leave a message after the it's not a nice situation itself but i think we can poke fun at the company for for their ridiculousness but hey who knows maybe jolie and stanley will be heartless and not agree with me but you know let's, let's have a listen to the story and see what they think You know, growing up, a lot of people have always told me that Disney was an evil company. And I've always kind of just brushed that off because they've always made some pretty good movies. But man, when I saw this article, I was like, okay, maybe they were just a tad bit evil because, well, take a look. Disney reportedly refuses to allow Spider-Man engraving on Tombstone of Dead Boy Who Loved Superhero. So a grieving father who lost his four-year-old son last year claims that Disney is not allowing him to include an etching of Spider-Man on the boy's tombstone, citing company policy. Having Spider-Man put onto his grave would quote-unquote ruin the innocence and magic of the company's famed characters. There you go, guys. What do you think of that? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's... why... You guys want to pay double sets for cut? No, but Let me why... See pay double sets for why would... He even asked him. You know, it's not as if like a Disney yeah, lawyer would be that's, walking that's past. That's what came to my mind as yeah, well. Yeah, well, just... I mean, it's not as if a Disney lawyer would be walking past a tombstone one day going for like, <laughs> what the hell is that? What the fuck is that? And it goes that's straight on the phone, the like, ben you know. Kid's grave. <laughs> it was just like, all right, call, call the lawyers up. Okay, get everyone. Get, get, I, we need a meeting this afternoon. <laughs> Some piece of shit kid <laughs> a red has alert, copyrighted. You know, <laughs> no, come on. I mean, like you know, I, I don't. I don't. Well, like, I don't put, know why. Put that to the side. I don't right. know why. The guy but, didn't do it. Okay, the guy, play, why did he, he did it? it. Let's go to, the company. to play devil's yeah. advocate. Oh. Um, Your evil son. You do. <laughs> Let's get you. Oh, wow. You, Let's get you, a piece of I couldn't wait. Let's you, just fall out. You, 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 <laughs> you answer me too. Anyway, I did it. So, I'm going to edit it out. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Whatever. Do what you need to do. But technically, you see you see those videos of like last Make a Wish Foundation where yeah. kids get to meet Spider Man mm-hmm. or meet the, or actors, the actors who correct. play yeah. them and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you don't really hear about Disney saying no to those. So mm. I don't know, man. It's a it's a weird one. If they can, um, if they can allow that, then you know. But I thought you, you were going to start telling me about the innocence of magic, Stanley. Where's the innocence of magic defense? No, it's it's confusing. I'm I'm wondering why that's. Okay. I thought that, but that's a slam dunk for them. Like, of course he can have it. You know, there's an innocence. Yeah. His kid loves it. You know, and he it's, wants it's to. Really it, I I don't know why they would go against the grain. I mean, out of. If anything, elevate them to look like, you know, very generous, like, like oh, is, yeah, of course you can have yeah. that of your hero. But th- for them to uh, cite some sort of copyright law, like, no, you can't do that, you know, or whatever, you know, it's it's it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense. But what mm. about the innocence of Spider-Man and the magic? Why do you keep going back on this, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. Me? That's, 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 what, that's what they said. The innocence of magic needs to be protected on Spider-Man. Because no. when I think Spider-Man, I think innocent and I think magic. Yeah. How many times has he smashed Mary Jane? Like, yeah, I don't think he's that innocent. Wow. Like, well, Stanley, those, those words are not innocent. Spider-Man. That's what I'm saying, but he did it. Like some stage. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound, it just, very, but it it doesn't, doesn't sound very Disney like Stanley smashing. No, but you know what? Um, going on to another point, but Disney uh, corporately are ruthless, and everyone knows. That, I mean, I think there's a yeah. famous South Park episode of like you know Mickey Mouse being like you know yeah. beating <laughs> up everyone. Bitch. Like I got you, bit. Like you know they they are that ruthless. So I think yeah. there's a there's kind of like an infamous story with uh, Quentin Tarantino when they had that the first Star Wars or the remake. Well, uh, sorry, the sequel came out, and um, Tarantino had the movie The Hateful Eight. Uh, mm. premiering in their main uh, LA cinema like you know whatever and Disney owned all the cinemas where they had all the premieres everywhere and uh, Disney decided they had a long standing contract uh, the cinema with uh, Tarantino and said company making this movie and uh, they went over to uh, Disney went over to the cinema was like if you show The Hateful Eight rather than showing Star Wars then you guys will never allowed to be, never be allowed to have any Disney movies again and then, and then the cinema was just like, uh, all right, we're going to have to cut the contract to do. And Tarantino, like, f- he couldn't say fuck them because he said, I really want to swear. I want to say all the stuff, but they will tear me a new arsehole. So, yeah. I mean, this is the level of, you know, ruthlessness and control that they have. Like, they're, they're a very, for me, kind of like an insidious dark yeah. company because they're, it's almost like they've now become a monopoly. They're, they're behemoth in yeah, terms yeah, of, yeah. like, look how many companies they've bought out. 
and like yeah. outright own now. It's like you know when they got you know George Lucas and they got Marvel. I mean, the game was done after that. I mean, you know. So is there any way I will seriously pay double advocate now? As a company, do you think there's any way that you feel that it would be in their best interest not to let them do this, not to let the, the parents use their children for such tragic and grim circumstances? From a company perspective, do you think, can you see where they're coming from at all? Or not, I, not I, I really, enough? but that's the thing, I really don't know where they're coming from in terms of, mm. I mean, is it because there's an association with a death of a kid mm. or with, you know, yeah. kind of like a, a great, big you know heroic character where you know he always survives and there's always a good story I, I just don't get that i mean if anything it should be the other way they should be like saying of course he wanted to be associated with his dying wish yeah to be associated with them and they're like no we don't want to have any connection with this at all and was, so it it doesn't make sense mm. well it's very strange the first thing you guys it. started with which i'm glad you guys because uh, the first thing i thought of immediately and they, again right. he, they, i think the guy got a little bit of hate online is that why did you even ask but then... Yes, why? Yeah, why do you want to just do it? And here's the thing. Funeral direct... It depends. Again, if you pay someone to make the tombstone for you... Is they it, might be like, yeah. Of the, group of the funeral place going to be like, no, we're not going to allow that here because we need permission. It doesn't... It's not logical. It's not really likely. You get your own private sculptor. Yeah. Right? Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, true. And then people are just saying maybe the guy just wants a headline because most people won't give a damn. Most... most what funeral director or you know landowner of these films are gonna not 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 look the other way? Why would they want the heat? Because again, the place have gotten heat. By the way, the people that said to me the local authority, they've gotten heat for this as well. And then and Disney have got heat for it because here's a really pathetic fun fact. I wouldn't even call it a fun fact. You guys ever watched uh, Spider Man animated series back in the day in the nineties? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, with the yeah, funny yeah. Peter Parker. No. <laughs> No, what? no, no. There's so many. Spiders. Oh, you mean the the original one with the where the, all the memes are made from? No, not that one. That's, that's, that's in the too 70s. old. That's yeah, way too okay, old. Cool. Anyway, in the night, it was one. There's a whole episode where Spider Man is with a terminally ill child. That he spends a whole day and he takes him on journeys, and then to, oh yeah, I remember that episode. Yeah. So I'm like, wow, Spider Man would probably do this himself, and then to me, that's just pretty big. Like, really, Spider Man's help kids, and then to make matters even worse, I just went online because I saw this two months ago this year in friendly neighborhood spider-man issue number six spider-man has got a, a new psychic called spider bite and guess what he's a terminally ill kid that he took out as a psychic oh okay so the character himself has went out of his way to spend his day with these and they're just like marvel have went out of their way to show support for these terminal children i guess there's a difference between um you know, Spider Man doing that in the in the comics or in the oh in the, yeah the, the media versus the made up the made up character doing it in doing real life. It, but in real life. It's still you know basic question of what's the big deal. No, you're you know, right. The made up characters got more heart than real life companies. The thing to sidekick well is that I don't want to take someone taking my shine for too long. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> it's a fictitious character. We can say this, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's okay, so place, right, I'll allow one sidekick, but. <laughs> All right, just for the time being, right? right? You know, all right. Don't look at me that way. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I, I, it's I, a temporary gig. Really it's a temporary gig, you know. So, hey, yeah, you look. Um, yeah, but he gave the voice some shine. Truth. I mean, the fact that he allowed. Yeah, because be he psychic. knew there was a specific time limit. There was an hourglass to this whole whole thing. You know, that's you know. So yeah, he's. I wouldn't put he, it that way. But well, Jesus yeah. Christ. I was, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fictitious character. <laughs> yeah. and, and he had more sympathy for a dying kid, a non existent character, in uh, the actual fucking uh, parent company. By the way, just to go back to the dad, <laughs> yeah. uh, I know we've been on this for a while, but just to go back to that, uh, you, you were all asking, like, why? Why would they even ask? But I guess you know how some parents are, like, when parents get really emotional, the kids want to, the parents want to do the best sure. by, by their child. So yeah. I yeah, guess yeah. maybe his idea was. You know, I'm not just gonna get a sculptor. I'm gonna get the okay from the sure. Marvel yeah, no, I, mean? I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. obviously, it backfired. I can't hate. Yeah, you can't hate on him too. You guys ever yeah, heard yeah. of Bat Kid? By the way, Sorry? Bat Kid. Bat Kid. No. no There's no. a whole documentary about this kid who was dying and he wanted to be Batman, and the whole town became Gotham for him. There's a whole wow. documentary on it. Oh, yeah, really? the whole documentary. They the whole town dressed up. It was crazy, and you know, even um. What's the guy who played Batman at the time? Uh, the, the, the British dude, the British actor. He played Batman before. Batman. Um, oh, the British one? Yeah, I can't remember his name. 
Oh my gosh, it wasn't even there. I know who you're talking about, but I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm terrible with names. I see you. <laughs> huge, a, huh? a huge actor. We're getting... Christian oh, Bale. Christian Bale, oh, that's, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> the silent one spoke to him. Ba- I was going to say Bateman Christian, from yeah, uh, course, American yeah, yeah. Psycho. Yeah, yeah, that was his character that he played. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. came out. So, I mean... Thank you, by the way. Thank <laughs> you, silent, silent one's tattoo. And you know what? You see, someone came out of their own skin yeah. to help this person. I mean, Disney. But hey, I will say this. <laughs> Disney are not Marvel. Marvel, yeah. if they were their own company... And we, be, we have been on for long. They might have mm. gone along with this and stuff like that. But Disney, you know, they're protecting the assets. It's a, it's a bit shitty, but you know. Yeah. Please leave another message at voiceofmail.com.